They call it a human crowd room for a reason. Okay. Go ahead. Well, so what I think it's important to know is that just about every county right now is trying to steal your land. Not just trying, to it. And they usually do it through tacit, non-consensual agreements. So when you signed or you registered uh, to vote here, when you signed a, a marriage certificate, when you signed your children into the hospital, when you signed their birth certificate, when you signed your driver's license, all of these things are scams to not only steal everything that you own, your entire estate, your children, and your land. No, the way that they've actually stolen the land is quite fascinating. They just created an overlay of zip codes, then they claim them. But the thing about it is they can't claim your land. Land can only be passed from one sovereign to the next. It cannot be passed to a foreign corporation. So what they're doing is they're claiming your land because you haven't, and that way when you die, they can take it from your heirs. So that's why we need to get a little smarter about operating in the private setting up our own private trust and claiming our land. It's like far and away. All you need is a bunch of little, you know, white flags and some posts so you can get your meets and bounds and then you can claim your land and therefore you can then pass it on to your heirs. So one of the things we're doing immediately for operational restoration is we're setting up a PMA, a social compact, where we're providing refuge for people that want to come back and get their land back from the county. We're talking 4.5 million people in Maricopa County of which they have every single person, this right here, this Maricopa County Assessor's Office. Which, Mickey, really? no one's here working. Like no one's even here All working. these, today's they March 13th. Your land and they're just banking on the fact that you're gonna die. And they're all die. running around in there because so they see us. If I may, uh, the, way how, the way how it's done, so you have, you have a land, you have a physical land that can be only described in physical means and bounds. And um, when you when you go to purchase a property, let's actually wait for the gentleman to, to hear this. So, so when you go to purchase a property, you have a realtor, right? And they show you the actual land. They show you the, the front yard. They show you the backyard. They show you the house. You walk through the house, right? You love the barbecue and say, yeah, I want this house, okay? Then they show you through this escrow process. And at the end, they, they create deed. Deed of trust, warranty deed, corporate deed, or some kind of deed. And in that moment, what they've done, they, they take in the description of the land and they took you into a fiction, okay? Mm -hmm. And the way how they do it, as, as uh, Mickey was saying, through the assessor. So when our country was invaded, they created this federal territory overlay on top of the land. So the actual land is described in the meets and bounds, which is, which is um, uh, done through the surveyors, licensed surveyors map. So you have one map that's describing the actual land in the meets and bounds. It basically tells you from this pipe to this pipe, there is so much you know, feed, then you have to go at that degree to the next pipe, and you, that's how you describe the actual no, lawful description. There is a difference between that's a lawful description. The legal description is then when they take it at the end of escrow into the fiction. And mm -hmm. that's the assessor's map. And mm -hmm. they did it so they can assess the property taxes mm -hmm. because you cannot tax private land, yep. but you can tax an estate. And that's how they do it that they take the surveyor's map, they create another map uh, through the assessor's office mm -hmm. called the assessor's map, yep. and now this land is no longer described in the physical meets and bounds, but it's described through a legal description, mm -hmm. through a new map that, that was created mm -hmm. in order for them to take you in the, I call it the legal, legal la la land, okay, mm -hmm. into the fiction. And you think you are buying a property, but no. You are actually buying um, an interest on their parcel. Mm -hmm. And the way how you know is just read your deed. In your deed, it will tell you that you are a tenant. Mm -hmm. How can you own a property and be a tenant? And how come uh, if you paid all your property, if you paid for the house that you own, how come, let's say you get a disease and something bad happens to you and you can no longer afford to pay the property taxes, that the county can come and steal your house that it's paid for? How is that done? This is how it's done. It's all done and, for and, fraud. 
and people don't even realize that actually they are not foreclosing on the actual land, but they are foreclosing on a fiction, on APN number, which doesn't exist. It only exists as a creation of the mind. Okay, so the solution is people need to wake up and they need to make claim to the land that's actually sitting abundant. It's mm. abundant. It's, it's everywhere. Abundant. It's abundant. And, this and, is and, how you win every war, is the land. They knew that. They knew they had to con us out of our land and keep us poor and keep us poor generation to generation to generation so that they could basically just steal our country. It's right. Right. And make it, it's the, a the word, insurrection. We are slaves and we are all and slaves. The word, the word mortgage comes from uh, the, rap, the root word mort, which is mortician, engage, which is wish. So a mortgage is a 30-year sentence with interest. It's a death wish. It's a death, death wish, wish. mortgage. And they draw money from your sister KB Trust to pay for it. So there's so, no proof that the bank even funded it in the first place. Yeah, because there is no money. There is no money. Money was taken away uh, through the Emergency Banking Act in 1933. So if there is no money, you know, they couldn't just take the money. They create, had to create a system. It's basically the credit system uh, through the trust, you know, to you can only discharge, set off or, or terminate the debt. If you have no way to, to pay for anything. So what, it, what I like to really stress out to people is if you look at, at all the foreclosures where people, people's lives were ruined, where families were ruined, you know, people committed suicide mm -hmm. for nothing, mm -hmm. okay, for nothing because they left a land that they settled on. This is the American dream that you can, you can own a land, you can, you can, you know, nurture the land, you can live from the land, and then you Pass it to your heirs. Okay, this is the American dream that so many brave men put their life to, and we just gave it away. So this is really the call to people: you need to claim the land that you settled on. You are the settler, claim mine. <laughs> and then, and then you basically have to notice the county. Hey, listen, I am no longer participating in this federal territory overlay, and you know I actually would like to invite you come and locate the APN number, come and locate your number on my property because I think. It's trespassing on my property. Mm -hmm. And of course, they won't be able to, right? So we can return the APN number to them, right? And once you return the APN number, it's no longer on your property. And should the APN number come back to your property, well, now it's subjected to $5,000 per day per person trespass fee. Now, what you guys don't know about Lanka is that she is a du jour sheriff. <laughs> that she is a du jour sheriff of uh, Southern California, and, and she's brave. Mean? It means that uh, basically, as I was explaining to the to the corporate uh, sheriffs uh, down the hall here, is that you know they work for a corporation. Yeah. Yeah. So when people when when people when people uh, unslave from the corporation and they claim their rights and who they are, uh, they we call it the correct status that you are one of the people. Which is the which is the authority? Well, then you can appoint and elect your your own sheriffs of the people, right? So that's the de jure sheriff of the people, for the people, by the people. And to me, it just happened because I guess when uh, the scandemic rolled in and moms and dads were being arrested for having to wear muzzles to feed their families, mm -hmm. you know, no one no one was standing up for them. And so I was basically teaching people how to exercise your right, how to actually have your public servants to to serve you, not the other way, way around. And so that's uh, that's how I took Can you seat. imagine if every does your sheriff acted the same? And how do you, have we the people it's have happening. to we the people have to stop putting loyalty and or authority to anyone who hasn't signed an oath of office to us. When you sign an oath of office to us and you're working for us, it is night and day. Yeah, and, and I can actually show anyone my, my oath of office, you know, that's legitimate and it's, a, it's, it's an honor to, 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 to have it and I'm just here to serve, I don't get paid. So this is all volunteering because I just love, I love freedom and I love America and that's what I can Is that California Republic? Freedom, we don't have California that. Republic, that's correct. Yeah, California Republic, which once again, all these seats are sitting, sitting vacant, okay? And people just have to populate these offices, turn the light on and start self-governing. So let's let's simplify yeah. that. We have two governments. You have a de facto and the de jure. The de jure will never fail because it's set up by the forefathers. Okay, mm -hmm. de jure is a republic. It will never fail for lack of a trustee. We just have to cede it. 
Guys, stop watching the fake, phony, false, fake news, fake government, fake everything, and start watching the real stuff. This is the real news. <laughs> this is what real news sheriffs do. Okay, yes. they work for us. On top of that, I have the land patent for almost all of Maricopa County, as in we pulled the patent, and now everyone can follow the process and procedure to simply claim your land and pass it down to your heirs. Yeah. So this really is the start of a new. We're